Hello, this is Jimmy. I'm here to plan my week. Um, for those of you who haven't seen, I use this tip-in card. This is this is from Planner Perfect's March box, I believe. It's called a tip-in, um, one of many cards that you get with the subscription box. But I use this, and on the back, I write what I do for my weekly calendar setup. Um, so first, I'm gonna put in the weather. I want to show you these pens, though, that I just picked up from Target. I'm gonna use these. Um, these are dual tip um, brush pens. See, it says brush tip, fine tip. Um, I have been using Tombow pens, which is similar, but more expensive. Um, but I wanted brighter colors, and I Tombow does have brighter colors, but I just happened to see these at Target, so I picked them up today. Um, this end is a brush, so it's water-based, like watercolors. And then this end is for finer writing. I have some videos below that show how to do lettering with the brush pen um, because then you don't have to go back and color things in. These are really good and come in really nice colors. I think this was, was it $11? It was around $11 for all of these. Anyway, those are my new pens. And now I will put in the weather. Okay, so there's the weather. It really helps to have the weather because then I can plan better. Um, days I want to get outside and garden, especially now in the spring, I want to get everything done before it gets too hot. All right, so the next thing I do is number two, things that happen regularly. I don't have that much happen regularly now, but we do have trash on Thursday. Okay, I'm gonna wait on my meal planning because I still have a lot of meals left. Um, so I'm gonna wait and just play that by ear. The other regular thing is I like to get together with my daughter once a week. I like to get together with her. During the summer we would have art Wednesdays and we'd get together and do art together. But she has such a heavy school schedule now. So I'd like to have her and her boyfriend over for dinner once a week. But actually, this week, on Saturday, we are having, I'll do this instead, we're having a movie night with my friend Lourdes and her family. Um, so we're going over there. It's going to be an outdoor movie night. I have to see what time we're going to go. I'll just put PM. And... I just get along with her so well, and her husband is friends with my husband, and she has kids that are two of my kids' ages, and then my daughter and her boyfriend come too, usually, so it's just nice, and there's always good food. Um, yeah, she makes really good, um, she's from Puerto Rico, so she always has good spicy food that I love. Okay, so that will be, um, my daughter and her boyfriend will come there too. So that will take care of the regular meeting with them that week. And then since we're doing this, um, Friday I need to make sure that I have everything because we usually split the food. I bring um, half the food and she makes the other half.
next thing I have is Instagram YouTube upkeep. I think I will put that in this week. Um, I'm going to put it in a different color um, so it'll stick out. Maybe I'll do that in blue now that I have my new pens. Um, I do have a little schedule that I'm going to see if it works, um, which would be on Tuesday to prep pages for next week. All right, I know that seems early, but then it gives me time to not have to rush. And then on Wednesday, I'll edit that video. Edit above and post. And it usually doesn't happen on Wednesday. Usually it ends up being Thursday. But that's why I do it earlier, so that I won't be so late. Thursday, I'll do what I'm doing right now. Now it's Friday, but see, I want to try to do this on Thursday. Plan and script next week. And then Friday, edit the above and post. So today I'm doing both of these because I didn't do it yesterday on Thursday. Edit above and post. So it'll be posted before the weekend when people have time off. Um, and that's just basic what I will do for my Instagram and YouTube upkeep and then anything above that will be extra. Um, because sometimes I end up spending too much time on planning things and then I don't get my goals done. So I need to um, reevaluate that when I do my goals, which I was going to do today, but you know, I'm not, I haven't done them yet. I'm going to make a separate video just on goals. So if you're interested in that, that will be up in a day or two, hopefully. All right. So that's for my Instagram and YouTube upkeep. Okay, the next thing I have on my setup is appointments and commitments. Let's see. Let's see what I have back here. All right, we do have my teen's college registration is Thursday. It starts at noon. We like to know that because um, classes fill up very quickly. So this way they can get the classes that they want. My uh, junior, he's 11th grade, he's doing college classes for his junior and senior year so he can graduate high school with a, um, with a degree, and a two-year degree, and then he can transfer to university from there. Um, the other regular thing, um, well, Friday is Good Friday. I don't know what we'll do, if we'll do anything for that, but it's good to know. And I don't know, are the banks closed on Good Friday? I don't know. Um, <laughs> we also have April Fools. I'm going to put that on here. I got my husband really good last year. Um, he was in on his computer. And I went to the garage. And I came out and said, oh, Come here, come here, there's a snake! There's a snake in the garage! And he ran in there and he was like going back and forth trying to decide what to do. And he was just, Because oh, I said there was a big snake in there. And um, I think he was trying to get a shovel. He, did, he, he really hadn't figured out how he was going to handle the situation yet. He was still panicking. I wished I would have videotaped it, but it was just so funny. And then, you know, then I started laughing. And that was the best I have ever gotten him. It doesn't sound like much, but just the fact that he, if you could have seen his face and just the way he was scrambling around. So that was a good one. Um, so then we have Good Friday, then obviously Easter. That needs to go in pink, I think. Um, and actually, I don't even know what we're doing for Easter yet. So I really need to get on that, don't I? Um, there's a vegan restaurant that I would like to go to. Um, but I don't even know if they're open on Easter. No, they are open, but they're not taking reservations. That's what it is. So I'll have to talk to my husband more and see. But, you know, the fact that we're going over here on Saturday night... 
um, we can incorporate some Easter things into this maybe make some of that um, Easter bread with the eggs in it and you know some Easter -y type things maybe I'll get some chocolate bunnies to bring um, so it can be like celebration weekend um, but my goals pages over here I will use part of that for um, to plan my our Easter celebration I just I'm running behind on that okay that looks like all my appointments and commitments it's a pretty slow week and then the last thing I do is look at other stuff and I put look at goals um, so like I said I'm gonna do a different um, a different post on goals since we're at the beginning of the month I'll do that in a few days but I do like to just go over my goals to make sure that I if there's anything I need to incorporate um, the one day of quiet downtime that I am trying to get and I always put it on my calendar but it usually never happens so I need to figure out something better about that but I will pencil it in for Monday in the hopes that I will get it personal day and what I mean by personal day is just a day to do whatever I want to do um, you know to de-stress and get my adrenals back in the function I have adrenal burnout oh here's the little trash sticker I never put on there you know and to just take care of my health do things that are relaxing and healing um, okay so we have that there let's see what other goals sorry where did I put those here we are. All right, so that was the one day of quiet time. Family times, we have done, when I feel the heart in, it's, it's we have done that. We planned our spring getaways to the beach house, to Florida, so that's good. See, that's the one that hasn't been done because it's not filled in. This, I have half a heart because I have not been very good with that, so I need to incorporate my meditation into my day more purposefully. I have started my new art course, but I'm really bad at doing it. I will put it on my daily calendar, but then I don't do it. Um, there's just usually something else that comes up, and it just doesn't get done. So I think I will put that on my personal day. Let's see. George? Sounds like someone's going up and down the stairs to art course. I always just push this off. So I really need to do that. Um, it's just difficult with my husband here on the weekend. He gets up early, so as soon as I get up, he's right there um, wanting to do something. You know, my teen boys. They have friends over and it's loud on the weekends, even during the week. It's just really difficult um, to have the time to concentrate and do my art course. It's online, so I have to listen to it and I just can't relax and do art with a bunch of chaos around me. So I need to be more purposeful about that. All right, so I put that on. I have it filled in, but I haven't really done it. Um, these are just other goals. Um, I haven't done a lot of household things because I've been, I, ha I did plant my herb garden and I just have been working in the yard, spreading mulch, doing things for spring before it gets too hot. So that's it for my week. You know, as the week goes on, it will get filled in more as usual, but this is the skeleton of the week and this will be really helpful when I go to fill out each day. Um, then I will look back at my weekly and add things in um, you know and I do the weekly by looking at the monthly so it really helps to break it down like this and I hope this was helpful thank you so much for watching see you next time